Now we've got the curve then, y equals 4e to the 2x plus 1, and the point p, and what we've got to do is find the equation of tangent then at the point p on this curve. Now to do that, first of all I'm going to need to establish the gradient, and that is found by doing dy by dx. This will give us the gradient in general. And to differentiate y equals 4e to the 2x plus 1, what I'm going to need to do is use the chain rule. Some of you could well know what the differential of this is already, but uh, what I'm going to do is just run you through the chain rule in case you've forgotten that. So dy dx is equal to dy by dt multiplied by dt by dx. Some of you might actually use a different variable here, say du for instance, uh, but as long as these two are exactly the same, that's fine. So in this example, what is t? t is going to be the 2x plus 1. So in other words, that's going to mean that y is going to be 4e to the t, where t is the 2x plus 1. So first of all I need to find dy by dt, so therefore dy by dt is going to be 4e to the t, it's going to stay exactly the same, and for dt by dx, dt by dx will be just simply 2 if we differentiate this equation here with respect to x, so dt by dx will be equal to 2. So all I need to do is put these values here into dy dx. dy dx equals dy by dt then, so that's 4e to the t, 4e to the t, but remember t was 2x plus 1, so we'll put that up there. Multiply this by the differential of what I call t then, and that's going to be the 2 that I had down here. With practice, to be honest, I never normally do this, I just do it straight in my head, but as I say, I've just done that there, just in case you want a helping hand. Okay, so just tidy this up, 4 times 2 is 8, so we have that dy dx is 8e to the 2x plus 1. So now we need to find the actual gradient at the point P, and this is when x is the natural log of 2 minus 1 over 2. So I would say here that when x equals the natural log of 2 minus 1 over 2, we see that dy by dx would equal 8 times e to the power 2x plus 1. So that's twice this value, so if I double this value that 2 is going to disappear, so I'll just be left with the natural log of 2 minus 1, and then we have this plus 1 on the end here, so we've got that. So quite clearly this is just going to be equal to 8e to the natural log of 2, because the 1's cancel out. Now if you have e to the natural log of a value, in this case 2, then you should know that this comes to the value here 2. If you're not sure of this, you can always type this in your calculator and you'll see that you'll get 2 for e to the natural log of 2. So 8 times 2 gives me a final gradient then of 16. The gradient at p then is 16. So all I need to do now is find the equation of the tangent. Now, even though we're asked to find the equation of the tangent then in the form y equals mx plus c, what I'm going to use is the version y minus y1 equals m bracket x minus x1, and then rearrange this. m is the gradient, remember, and x1, y1 is a point on the line, and I'm going to use these two values here. So, I'll just introduce this by saying, therefore, equation of tangent at P is, all right, so we have y minus y1, which is 8, okay, 
equals the gradient which is 16 multiplied by x minus x1 that's natural log of 2 minus 1 over 2. And now I'm just going to expand the bracket so we have 16x and then in the next part we have 16 cancelling with the 2 here 2 into 16 goes 8 so we are left with minus 8 times the natural log of 2 minus 1 expand this last bracket out and we have y minus 8 equals 16x minus 8 natural log of 2 plus 8 and then if I add 8 to both sides I therefore have y equals 16x and then 8 with this 8 here is another 16 and then minus 8 times the natural log of 2 and because we've got to put this in the form y equals ax plus b I'm going to put this in a bracket and so I can say that this is identical to we'll just carry on down here this is y is identical to ax plus b where clearly a equals 16 and b is equal to 16 minus 8 times the natural log of 2. So I hope you've been able to follow that and that brings us now to the end of this question.